Everybody, it's Glenn. So I just picked up the Marvel Legends Madam Hydra Blue Variant, aka Mystique. Now that I have her, I thought I would take the time to compare this figure to the previous incarnations of Mystique in action figure form. Yep, it's time for action figure evolution. Kicking it off with the earliest Mystique action figure from the X-Men Monster Armor series, dating way back from 1996 when the Spice Girls ruled the world and I was just a gleam in my mother's eye. Monster Armor, I hear you say, what the heck is that all about? Well, at the time this series came out, Toy Biz had just about run the well dry of the popularity of the X-Men animated series, so are left with conceiving increasingly ludicrous ways to tempt kids to continue to buy X-Men figures. So, in flinging shit at the wall in hope something would stick, we got the Monster Armor concept. Each figure coming with snap-on parts to transform the regular X-Folk into monster versions of themselves. And then, Toy Biz devised a backstory for the series as an attempt to make this seem a little less ludicrous. So reading from the card back, Forming a plot to take over the world, Mr. Sinister uses his scientific knowledge to transform the X-Men into powerful mutant monsters. Along with Mystique to help him control the beasts, Sinister plans on using the mutated monsters as his army against the remaining heroes. Capturing the X-Men's Wolverine, Rogue and Cyclops, Sinister prepares for his greatest battle against mutant kind. Wait, there's more. It's as epic as War and Peace. Wanting her foster daughter Rogue back in her life, Mystique helps Mr. Sinister in his plan to take over the X-Men. Shapeshifting into the beast, Mystique tricks the X-Men into Sinister's clutches. Witnessing Sinister turn Rogue into a monster proves too much for Mystique, and she turns against the villain using the now out of control monster Wolverine to aid in her revolt. Phew. So with Mystique's shapeshifting powers, I guess her inclusion in the line was a no-brainer. Yet that said, she usually uses her powers to more subtle effect with all the subterfuge of a spy. Yet within this series, she uses her power to the most blatant of effect, transforming into a she-beast. Ooh, pretty scary. Well, only if football mascots scare you. That said, the monster armor aside, this is a pretty decent figure. I mean, really basic articulation, limited to the five points typical of figures of this time. So in terms of articulation, doesn't compare to figures of today, yet the sculpting renders Mystique in a nice cartoon style which captures the essence of the classic look of the character. This toy here came out around the time that X-Men Evolution, the second stab at an X-Men cartoon, came out. It's, I think it's a Burger King kids meal toy, has punch in action, but um, Mike Tyson, she ain't. Next up, it's Mystique from the X-Men movie. For me, Mystique has been the silver lining throughout the X-Men series of films. I liked how they stayed true to the comic book essence of the character, even upping her sexuality by making her a nudist. And I like the way they embellished on the character, making her serpentine and scaly. So the sculpt of the figure really captures that serpentine sexiness with a good facial likeness. The figure does come with an action feature. The card back says grab the figure around the legs, squeeze them together for a martial arts punch attack. Yet in action, it seems less martial arts and more pleased to meet you, Mr. Vicar. Yes, I would love a cup of tea. As for her shape-shifting power, well, it's always going to be a hard power to capture in a play feature, but Plucky Toy Biz tried their very best with this rubberized Wolverine suit, which fits over the figure. I guess so you can recreate the scene from the movie where she battles Wolverine disguised as him. Yeah, it's a bit laughable really, but 10 out of 10 I guess for trying. 
But seriously, Wolverine, who is Mystique trying to kid with this disguise? Perhaps the blind? Moving into modern action figure times, we have the first Marvel Legends Mystique from the Sentinel Builder Figure series. Of course, as a Legends figure, it has decent articulation, as expected, as after all, that's what the Legends line is all about. But for me, the figure is just missing that something. It's like Mystique, but with all her sexiness sucked out. That's something Toy Biz always struggled with. They just never seemed to strike upon the formula for translating the sexy curves of comic book women into highly articulated figures. It's like the engineered lines and angles that allow articulation just eat away bit by bit at any erotic appeal, taking them from organic to sexless robot. That says, Toy Biz didn't screw Mystique in the way they did with some of their other female characters, but ultimately, I'd take this monster armor Mystique over the Legends one, as it just captures her essence that little bit better. That's why my ears perked up and I got excited when I heard that Hasbro were now going to take a stab at second Marvel Legends, more modern appearing Mystique. Of course, back when announced, we didn't know the figure would be their earlier Madame Hydra figure, only painted blue. That Madame Hydra figure already being one that disappointed fans, with the head becoming pinched in the production process, and made Dog ugly as a result. Yet in blue, that head sculpt does look a whole lot less ugly than Madame Hydra did. But not wanting to spend a dime on these figures, they made what should be a sculpted skull Mystique wears on her head. It's kind of some sort of bindi. It's her signature. Yet Hasbro cheaped out and transferred it on, making it look like some kind of weird tattoo. But at least the transfer is nice and crisp in detail. So yes, disappointed in the new figure, but such is my love for the character that even a bad Mystique figure is kind of good to me. Anyway, that completes my video. If you have any of these figures, let me know your opinions on them in the comments below. As ever, don't forget to comment, rate, share and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.